kind of a nifty way to do it i think you know i've got a couple coils that give decent arcs from maybe 12 to 24 volts but sometimes that can be pretty hard to do it's not as hard to get pretty fun output from let's say a range of 60 to 80 volts or so so i discovered this circuit right here you know it was really good from around the 100 volt region so that's what i'm going to end up doing with this i'm going to drive it from higher voltage the way this would be set up is you know you've just got a zvs driver that you've wired up to charge a capacitor you know there's a lot of circuits out there i'm pretty sure a lot of people use these zvs drivers to charge caps for things like coil guns things like that you know i haven't really 100 percent dove into the best way to go about that but that is pretty much what i do with this bigger one over here but i've got a beefy flyback transformer core in there and i've got some beefy windings on there i've got the uh two chokes set up so i've just got a primary here which is a uh, litz wire pretty much preferred but yeah say you wanted to run it from like a 12 volt battery like this uh that's basically what you would do i'm just, just running it from here to show the the current consumption so in this scenario this uh particular deal is set up now you see what happened which makes sense you know you've got an inrush from what's essentially seen as a dead short with an uncharged capacitor so, you know, you're going to get that spike. While the ZVS is running with this particular transformer on, this is pulling about an amp. Without that transformer on, the circuit's pulling like 100 milliamps or something. But uh, with that particular one, like I say, this is just what it's pulling. Uh, you might get away with a lot less than that. It all depends on the transformer. You know the full, the your rectifiers, however your setup is, but this is not particularly ideal. Although just for the purposes of this video, it will work. This right here is my voltage. Basically, this main uh, capacitor right here for this coil. So we're at 68 volts. So with this circuit, basically that just means I've got to uh, turn the gate voltage up. When I do that. We can see that um, you know that it'll, it'll start running, you know. But I'm still running it off, you know, a little under 12 volts. So uh, this actually is meant to run, you know, higher voltage. So I'm gonna get it to run from closer to like 90. And uh, even though it's not primary, is not set up, it'll still give pretty cool output. So I'm gonna show that real quick. With this circuit, I need about 15 volts to bring it up to 90. And that transformer so you can see we're almost pulling two amps just doing that so when i actually uh trigger the circuit to see what it pulls quite a bit we're uh at about five amps right yeah, it's gonna hover on about five amps to maintain that um So again, more reasonable, cut down the duty cycle. Real Say maybe someone else knows a better way, but it probably isn't the easiest thing to do to get the ZVS part uh, because I have been wanting to build another one of those for a while, but I, I don't have a suitable core. You know, everything usually gets pretty hot and I just usually mitigate that with mass, I guess you could say, but you could see it didn't take long for this little bridge rectifier to basically crap out get so hot that it just really wasn't even able to <laughs> pass the current to keep that uh capacitor charged but to be fair i have no idea what this thing is rated for and i probably pulled it off a very small piece of junk electronic maybe it's just not supposed to handle that as you can see though from my bigger zvs that can handle the beef you know from about 100 volts this coil does do a lot better Resistors are smoking already, so yeah.
So I could actually set that primer, at, you know, it wants to be higher, but obviously, look, it, it wants to arc so bad. This thing might be able to take uh, closer to like 200 volts. You know, I'm not quite sure, but you know, my single MOSFET driver over there was able to take that. I'm kind of surprised it does run like that at the 100 volts when I had so many problems with interference, just having it just a little bit closer than the driver than it is now at much lower voltage. But you can see like it gets to a point where when you really let it peak out at that you know, you let it maintain about 100 volts or so, get the duty just right. You know, when it starts to reach out and hit your hand, it's really got that different sound to it. Uh, starts to sort of like take on a whole nother level. 